to the Italian Football Podcast. We get a lot of people asking us to define what is a prem face. Now, the word prem face has now gone mainstream, as we will explain uh, in a in a minute on our on our Badger and prem face segment. It's gone mainstream now. The mainstream media are now starting to use this term. Um, it's a term to give you a bit of background on this. It's a term <laughs> it's that I coined fault. probably almost fifteen years ago. Uh, and I have to be honest that I didn't actually come up with the name myself. It was we were in a, it was it was while I was at goal, um, and it was in a it was in a work meeting, um, and I was with um, a Scotsman called Ewan McDonald, right, who used to be a football journalist. He's no longer uh, any anymore. Uh, and we were can't remember what we were talking about, but we were talking about I think some kind of uh, English uh, mainstream media uh, journalist and how you know he he something stupid that he said about about uh, uh, European football and Ewan just come out and goes oh god what a prem face he is <laughs> and I just I just thought that is brilliant that is just the perfect way of describing like that your typical kind of English Premier League fan or journalist who is just willfully willfully ignorant about any football outside of of England, so proudly, I took this, proudly, yeah, pr- and proud of it. So, yeah. so I started. So I started using this word. I started Twitter. Twitter. It was, this was around the time that Twitter was born, and I started using it on on Twitter, just as almost just jokingly, really. No, I didn't mean anything mean by it. And then I started. Then I used it in a in in some of my articles that I used to write. I used to regularly write features on there uh, on uh, on goal. And and then it started to take off. People started copying it and using it on on social media as a kind of like an insult, as a way to mock a, a kind of an English Premier League fan who who you know doesn't know anything uh, about football, any doesn't watch any football outside of the Premier League, doesn't know anything. Um, you know, Prem faces will you know repeat kind of stereotypes. So if they're talking about Serie A, they'll call it. You know, a retirement home, or corrupt, or or they'll play, or Ita- Italy play Catenaccio. And if they're talking about Germany, you know, they call them efficient. Efficient. They, you know, they must never be written. They must never be written off. You know, they'll never call them Germany. They'll always be called the Germans. The Germans. Notice, notice that about Prem face. Germany is never England are playing Germany. It's always England are playing the Germans. You know, like they're like they're an alien species. You know. <laughs> Always notice that, and you see you see it on you see it on TV, like BBC when they when they when they uh, pr- when they're introducing a World Cup game that Germany are playing. So today on the BBC we have Ecuador are playing against the Germans. You know, <laughs> so, you, know uh, you know if it's Argentina, it'll be you know they're oh, they're, they're, and divers. They're, they're divers. You know, they're, they're, uh, you know these kind of things, and then if England are playing in a World Cup. You know, oh, they're always they're, the favourite before favorites. every tournament. You know, so they're these are the kind the of favorites. things. You know, we could go on. Everybody knows what Prem face is now. I think it's, it's starting. And to then, of course, you know, declare your astonishment at how England could lose. I don't know, two one or draw goalless against a team where not even one player would make the England team. That that to yeah. me is is the definition of a like. That, yeah, there's lots so of cool. there's lots of things that Prem faces. You know. Often and of do. course, are Premier League proven or unproven unless you played in the Premier League? Yeah, unproven unless you played in the Premier League. If you're comparing oh. a Premier League team to a team from outside the Premier yeah. League, you'll always do a uh, how many of that foreign team's players would get into the Premier League team? You know, you'll see that all the time. Um, whenever they're previewing a, a Champions League game between you know anyone and anyone, Man City and, and someone else, it will always be, well, how many of that team would get into the Man City team? You know, so, so these are the kind of things. Uh, so that is really the definition of a Prem face. And um, it's, it's just something just, you know, don't take it too seriously. Don't be mean with it. Just, just something just to kind of have a laugh about really. Uh, mm. And it's, um, it's not all fans of the Premier League are Prem faces. No, of course not. Or all fans of the England national team are Prem faces. No, 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 all, no absolutely all not. All journalists in the English media absolutely are... Absolutely not. Absolutely you know, not. Are, are Prem faces. There, there, there's, there's a specific bunch who are very loud hmm. in the mainstream British media who who are, I would say, are the ones that... They're, they're the loudest. They're the hmm. ones that, you know, that, that you hear about. It's always the same, same five to ten people, I'd say. Yeah, um, like most Martin, for- Martin Samuel is a good example <laughs> oh, God. Of, a, of a prem um, face. And also, also five, like, I mean, 
I, my experience is like most English football fans that I've ever encountered, whether it's when I when I was when I lived in the UK and went to university, were actually quite knowledgeable, to be honest. Like, uh, or when I was, well, you know, when I've been invited on, you know, you other podcasts about, uh, you know, f- football, English football. Usually, I mean, more often than not, the person like what I was on an Aston Villa podcast, and the guy there, it, it felt like I was talking to a friend of twenty years. He was a complete football nerd. He'd watched the Serie A all his life. He he knew. He remembered these de- like you know details of that most people that even watch the city, I don't even remember. Like, so, so my, my experience is, is, is that this is a very specific, small, but very loud group of people that, that, can, that, that go on about this, that, that do this. And, and, and that's, that's something that we discovered this, this week, didn't we? 